Now that you have your Casio Graphic Display Calculator, or GDC for short, you'll want to know how to start using it. It looks a little bit different from a scientific calculator, which you might be used to, so this is a brief video to help you learn some of the basic functions. When you first switch on your calculator, you'll be presented with the main menu screen, as you can see on the right of this diagram, with lots of different options. To move around the menu screen, you can use the cursor pad on the top right of your keyboard and scroll up, down, left and right to get around. When you have the menu item you want highlighted, you can just press the EXE, e -X -E key in the bottom right hand corner. Alternatively, from anywhere on the keyboard, you can just press the number of the menu item. And for some menu items, this might be a little bit easier. So we want to go into the Run Matrix option. This is for basic calculations. So rather than scroll to it, I'm just going to press the number 1 on the keyboard. And here we are in the main menu screen. To perform a simple calculation, you can just do it as you would do on a normal calculator. So 2 times 3, we press 2 times 3, and the EXE button gives us the answer. And there we have the answer on the right hand side of 6. I just want to show you one more feature of the Run Matrix menu option. Um, say you had to work out the perimeter of a rectangle and you knew you were going to have to do this for a lot of different size rectangles. Um, you need to know the length and the width of that rectangle. So let's say the first rectangle has a width of 3. Uh, what we can do is we can store this in the memory and to store in the memory you need to use the arrow key just above the blue power on button. So we'll press the arrow key and then we're going to store this in the memory W for width and the W, the red W is just above the 3. To get to the letter rather than the number 3 we need to press the alpha key once to get us into the alphabet. So we'll press alpha and W and press EXE and that's stored 3 as the width. Now let's say the length of the rectangle is 5, we'll do exactly the same for that. Press the 5, the arrow key and then alpha and the L which is also on the arrow key. And there we go. Now to work out the perimeter of the rectangle we need to add the width and length together and multiply by 2. So we'll just do that. We'll put brackets around the W plus L part. So open brackets, alpha W plus alpha L, close brackets, times 2, EXE. And that's given us the perimeter of the rectangle. Now let's say we had another rectangle we wanted to calculate, and this one's substantially larger. This has a width of um, 15 and a length of 23. We can scroll back up to the line where we put 3 in as the width. Now we want to change the width to 15. So again, using the cursor button, just scroll left until you get to the 3. Press Delete and then change to 15 and press EXE we've automatically recalculated the perimeter. It's now 40. And let's scroll back up to where we put 5 in as the length, use the cursor button, delete the 5, and type in 23 as our length. Press EXE, and we now have the new perimeter calculated as 76. Now let's suppose this is a sports field, and it measures 15 metres by 23 metres, and we need to put a fence around it. And we know that the perimeter is 76 metres. Let's say the fence costs $70 per metre to erect. We need to multiply this number by 70. All we can do, rather than type in the actual number 76, we can use the answer key. This is similar to the way it's used on scientific calculators. So we do shift and then answer above this negative sign here and times as the fence costs $70 per metre times 70 EXE. And that's the total cost of the fencing. Ah, we just realised we made a mistake. The length was meant to be 22, not 23. So let's just scroll back up to where the length was. Scroll along. Delete the 3 from the 23, put 22 in. 
press EXE and everything is recalculated. The perimeter is 74 and the cost is now 5180. That's just a taste of what you can do with your calculator. There'll be some other videos that show you what some of the other menu options can do as well.